What's going on everybody? It's Brian for jailbreakzone.com and today I'll be showing you iOS 4.3 beta 1 on my iPad. Now about a day after I put beta 1 on here, beta 2 was released and it was jailbroken the, the same night. Uh, I would have put beta 2 on here but the, the differences are pretty much, there's pretty much nothing difference between the two. So I decided to just keep beta 1 on here so I won't have to put everything back on. But as I usually do with these videos, if you've came from my Gumball Tech channel and you've seen my what's on my iPhone or iPad videos, I always start at the lock screen, but there's nothing fancy here, so I will just go ahead and unlock it, and here's my home screen. You can see that I have Cydia. This is jailbroken with a custom-made IPSW that we have over at jailbreakzone.com. The UDID requirement is also removed, so all you have to do is restore to the IPSW and follow the instructions that we have on jailbreakzone.com. I don't have a whole lot of jailbreak stuff on here. I pretty much have the same stuff that I did with 4.2.1. I have SB settings. That works fine. If I head on over to settings and show you some of the preference loader bundles, I have activator, full force, retina pad, uh, Safari download manager. And of course this is uh, 4.3 so I have the four finger gestures and I also have the five finger gestures uh, I was able to enable these without using Xcode because usually you have to sign in with your developer account if you want to enable the gestures but I figured out how to do it manually it was just a simple plist tweak I have you know every, pretty much everything I'm talking about is going to be over on jailbreakzone.com just go over to our website and you'll find what you're looking for and you can see these three apps here. These are just stock applications that came from my iPhone 4, such as Calculator, um, Clock, and Stocks. And of course, I could use four fingers go up to switch to an app, like so. Five fingers to go back to my home screen if I wanted to. And I could also use the four finger swipe to go to another app. Although, when using four fingers to switch between apps, it takes a little while for the apps to come back from being backgrounded, even though using the multitasking dock is a lot faster than using the four finger gestures. And I do have the use side switch, so I could use the little switch here to choose between lock orient, the lock rotation and the mute switch. I always like my switches to mute the device. I can't remember the last time I even used the lo the, uh, the rotation lock. What else can I show you guys since I'm here? Um, I haven't really had any issues with 4.3 except for some of my jailbroken stuff doesn't work. Install this does work, just for those of you who are wondering. The app sync patch works. Um, the only app that I've tried putting on here that does not work is Skype. It crashes when you open it or at least goes to a black screen and then crashes after a little bit and you can see all the fingerprints I have on my screen I need to clean it but uh yeah Skype doesn't work and that's pretty disappointing I usually use that app quite often and I was thinking about downgrading back to my previous version of iOS that I had on here but I really do like these multitasking gestures and I really can't live without them anymore I, I, I use them that much I, I I like to keep my home button as clicky as possible and it's nice to see multitasking gestures here so that it will minimize my use on the button itself. So that was just a quick look at iOS 4.3 beta 1 on my iPad. It is jailbroken with the UDID requirement removed. You can head on over to jailbreakzone.com if you'd like to get a hold of the IPSW and a little tutorial on how to actually install it or enable the multitasking gestures without having Xcode up. So thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.